Here I am, we're just outside the first station, and I'm speaking with Noya. Hi. And uh, so th thankful that you were willing to <laughs> stop and talk with us. And uh, where are you from? I am from Israel. Israel? Yes. Wh where were you born? In Israel. In, uh, in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. Yes. So a true Jerusalem light right here in front of you. So it's wonderful. Um, so thank you for, for stopping. Are you, uh, have you already served in the military or in the IDF? Have you already been in the military? No. No? So what is your age? Uh, I am uh, 24. 24. I am 24. Very good. Uh, your family, everyone is here? Yes. Everyone is well? Yes. Very good, very good. So what I'm asking uh, a question is, uh, one of the things I'm asking, because many uh, we have, I have dis we have d discovered mm -hmm. that many of the, the Jewish people have never read in their own Bible. Does this make sense? Um, the book of how do you say it? Uh, yes, Yesi Yahu. You know that book in the Tanakh? Yesi Yahu. Uh, yes, Yesi Yahu. No. Okay, it's in the Tanakh. Tanakh. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's, he's uh, one of the prophets, and in um, chapter 53, mm -hmm. okay, he, can, can you read English? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, if you like, if you, if, you, if you don't mind, if you, because most Jewish people we discover, they have never read this, and it's in their Tanakh. And so, uh, if you don't mind, if you can just start, the, you can skip, well, let me, before you start, the Hebrew is messed up. We just, yes, we, it's you. not right. Somebody okay. who did this for us didn't do it right. But the English is correct. Okay. So if you can start at uh, 13. This? Mm -hmm. Beldu. Behold. Behold. My servant. Yes. Shall prosper. <laughs> I'm helping with your English. <laughs> uh, he shall prosper. In other words, my servant shall do well. Well, this, okay. is, this is uh, the Lord, Hashem, speaking about the fact that his servant, which is the Mashiach, <laughs> is going to serve him, and he's going to do well. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. <laughs> he's this is the Lord's servant. And uh, it says he's going to be exalted, <laughs> uh, lifted high. This makes sense? Yes. Like lifted up, like Aliyah. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, according as many were appalled, and this appalled, at him, okay. so marred was his vintage unlike that of a man, and his form unlike the sons of men. So what this is saying is that his even his appearance was going to be awful. It wasn't going to be tov. It was going to be no. not good. Marred, yes, um, more than any any other person. And there's a reason. We're going to come to that. So shall he be. So so he shall startle. Like oh, shock, many uh, nations, kings, shall shut their mouths because of him. For that which has not been told them, they shall see. And they shall have not heard, they shall perceive. And then it asks this question. Yet, now you have to keep in mind, this is yes, yes Yahoo, this is the, the prophet saying this to the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. He says, who has believed our report? So in other words, they heard this. From the prophet, they didn't believe it. Okay, does this make sense so far? Yes. Okay, and then he goes on. He says, "And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? The arm of the Lord is mighty, right? The strong arm is the salvation of God. Yes. Yes. Okay, you're not just agreeing with me. You you understand? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Um, and so he goes on. He says, "For a shoot, so he grows up like a like a little sapling, mm -hmm. like a little tree." He has no form. In other words, he's not attractive. There's nothing special. He's not like like you, good looking, you know, beautiful. He's not. He's just regular, like me, you know, just a regular looking person. That's the Mashiach. He's not going to be some, ooh, he's so beautiful. No, he's just regular. And so it goes on. And this is amazing. He was despised and forsaken of men, a man of pains and acquainted with disease. As one, and we who had we had our face from him, he was despised, and we did not esteem him. Does this make sense? What that means? We didn't, we didn't give him any honor. In other words, 
the Mashiach would come and we as Jews would um, not look at him. Oh, I don't want to see him. I don't want to think about him. He was rejected. Uh, there's a story, you know, you know the story of Joseph in the Bible uh, where he gets rejected by his brothers in the, Tana in the Torah. You know, Yosef. Yosef. Uh, Yosef, he's rejected by his, by his brothers. Okay, it's the same idea here. And um, he goes on, he says, Surely our disease, he took, he took his disease, our diseases on him and he carried our pain. He carried our pain. And it says, Whereas we did not esteem him stricken, he was smitten of God and afflicted. Smitten means to be, you know, hit, beat. For he was wounded, you know what that word wounded? Wounded is like, um, I wish I knew in Hebrew. Uh, wounded is to be hurt, to like, you know, like beat, like, <clears throat> ah, okay. you know, beat, wounded, okay. cut, <laughs> cut. Uh, so he was wounded for us, you see, uh, and he was afflicted, but he was uh, wounded for our transgressions. The word transgressions is our sins. You know, sin, you know what sin is? Sin is like what we are not not doing good. It's the opposite of tov. It's not tov, it's bad. So he took those things. He took those things. He was beaten for those things. He was the sacrifice. You know like the animal sacrifices? He became that for us. Um, and the chastisement of our warfare was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. That word stripe, you know what stripe, what the stripe is? A stripe? A stripe is like lines, like like on clothes, like that barrel, his stripes on yes, the barrel. Okay. So those stripes, he took on stripes. He took on stripes on his back, wounds, whips. So who does this sound like this could be talking about? Uh, Maybe Jesus? No. It, it doesn't sound like him that he no. took the wounds and the beating and the punishment for us? Maybe Mashiach. Mashiach, it's not a God. Yeah. So, anyways, that's Isaiah, Yeshiahu, Yeshiahu, 53. So, I'm going to let you have this, and you can go and look look it up in your, or find yourself your a Tanakh, mm -hmm. and read it in Hebrew, because I know you know Hebrew yes. <laughs> much better than the English, of course. And I'm sorry that that's incorrect, but at least it gives you a place to kind of start and think, hmm, why would, and the thing is, why would the rabbis not want the Jewish people to see this? They don't, they don't read this in the synagogue. This, this scripture is not read. Of all of the Tanakh, they don't read this part. Why? Because it looks like Yeshua. It looks like him. We don't want to think about him. And remember what it said earlier? He was rejected. He was rejected. He was rejected. Mm -hmm. But then the, the Gentiles began to believe in him. They became the Christians. But then, sadly, horribly, so many of the people that call themselves Christians did terrible things to the Jews. They weren't really Christians. They weren't people who really loved Hashem. Yeah. But you see, he did it for all of us. Anyways, think about it. And thank you so much for stopping. God bless you. We were so glad to be with you. And uh, we wish you the best of times. And we pray that you find Mashiach. Amen. Amen.